right here. Right there. Perfect. Alright, above 60, you can bring them all the way up. All right. And then above 80, you can bring power back to cruise. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, there you go. Alright, 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 Alright,
West southwest bound at Cessna 172. Roger, look for traffic down there at 6 Hotel Fox. All right, 6 Hotel Fox. I didn't give you the altitude at 3,000. Sorry about that. Uh, Roger, we're looking. Thanks. How come we would say, um... Hotel because it's, that's the type of plane. It's like Toyota Camry, I guess. Oh, like Cessna Skyhawk. So Cessna 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 Level. Don't let the nose drop. There you go. All right, below 85, gradually bringing them all down. All the way, there you go. Boom. 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 First notch of flaps. There you go. The level here. Right at 60, yeah, just boom. All the flaps up. Wait till 80. After 80, you can bring the power back to cruise. That was good. Boom. All right. I'm sorry, was that for 87 Hotel Fox Shop? That was Dutchess 96 Hotel Fox Shop. So you want to try a steep turn? Below you in the case 2400. You got to be. Keep it coordinated and smooth, because in the back they feel everything. Okay, so just do the opposite way? Yeah, both ways, yeah. Oh, whenever we're ready? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay, bring, the power, uh, bring the power back to 21. We'll start at, th we'll call it 3,000, right? So you get 100 feet minus and 100 feet plus, okay? Okay. All right, so there you go. Yep. Add a little bit of power after passing 30. Direct your park to resume on that. Let the next control know you what you want when I switch you. We'll do seven to one five six problem. Dutchess 96 Hotel Fox, on New York. There you go, watch outside, watch, there you go. In and out, in and out, right? Yeah, just like that. Dutchess 96 Hotel Fox, did you copy? Give it a little more turn, there you go. Watch that descent, because you're going to start going down. Okay, no problem, man. The guy that was coming at you at 2500 and going below you is trying to issue the alert. Just continue eastbound, I'll get back to your request. No problem. This guy's in a great mood. Yeah. Oh my god, keep going, all the way. 360. No traffic, right? Yeah, now we're good. Keep going, yeah. Towards Deer Park VOR now, Seminole 3000. Go on, watch that out. There you go. Keep going. Seminole 56 Bravo, traffic is uh, 3 south of your maneuvering helicopter 2600. Seminole 215. There you go, good. Bravo, All right, and then once you get back on west, I want you to get right into the left one, okay? So about 3, 2, 1.51. <laughs> there you go. Right. Boom. Bring that power back a little bit. All right. Watch that altitude. Good though. Keep it there. Right there. And now, and look at this. Look outside on the nose. Right. You see, look at, look at, and put, yeah. And you see how it's cutting through the horizon? You see how half the nose? Yeah. If you keep it right in the middle, you don't even have to look inside. Oh, I got you. Right? You see that? Yeah. And you know if the nose is going down, if it's going towards the water, you know if it's going up, if it's in the sky, right? Gotcha. Yeah. Hotel Fox on New York. Just a quick question, are you showing us uh, established over Massey intersection at this time? Negative, I'm showing you at least uh, two miles away from it. <laughs> that. Okay, I think the Deer Park VOR has a little bit off, is off in its orientation. All right, okay, is it okay? I'm showing you a mile and a... Uh, good, mile good. This was, yeah, see, now. this one's easy, right? Yeah. yeah. Could you, uh, any chance you could call Massey for us right Watch that, watch that altitude, so yeah. pull up a little bit, right? There you go. Pull up a little more because you only have you have zero feet basically to go yeah. up and you have 200 feet so you might as well just pull up and get give, give yourself some buffet space nice just like that perfect good good watch it. you don't want to keep climbing right there you go there you go perfect right on west perfect man that was good all right baby that was real good all right cool get that checklist out we're gonna go over an engine failure your controls my controls you got that emergency in there too um, you know what that means? What? That means you hit your wake. That means you did oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, engine failure. Yes, I do have yeah. that here. I'll put that in the back. Probably not the best place for it when you need it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that one. Yeah, it's this one. There you go. All right, cool. Let me see that one real quick. I'm going to write something down on it. Sure. Let me put this right here. Yeah, right here. My controls. Your controls. 
All right, so best speed. So here's the two things. All right, so with an engine failure, right? All right, let me just get five. All right. So when we do an engine failure, yeah. Basically, what I the first two things is off the bat. All right. Um. So actually, turn turn go north or south rather. Sorry. I want to show you something. All right, cool. So, engine failure, right? So okay. we're flying over here, blah, blah, blah. It's a nice, right? Just the Eternal Hotel Fox, I'm showing you over Masty now. Over Masty, Eternal Hotel Fox, establishing the procedure. Uh, all right, Eternal so Fox, we're, over, we're here, we're flying. In boom, boom, boom. The traffic. And then, Three and a half south you lose your engine. Right. All right, first Keep things first. This is like okay. as fast as you want to do it. You want to glide for 65. So what do I do? I bring the trim back, let go. Let go, and the trim should have it. Next thing. So we got 65 because that's the best glide speed. Where are we going to land? We know winds are coming from two, whatever, right? So I think the beach, straight up on the beach is the best place, right? Right. So okay, point the nose straight Please towards that. Which uh, runway do you use for today? Yep. Transmitting New York approach when you're looking for the Brookhaven. Uh, keep it at 65 uh, by, yeah. by compensating with that. First, yeah, exactly. No so you, you keep it at 65 because that's the best glide, and you're going to point the nose at the best place where you're going you're gonna to point the nose where you're going to land, right? Okay. So you got, all right, good, we did those, and those two things you do off the bat. Like, that's, so that should what, be memory, no, no like, what was the first thing we did? We did, uh... 65, so you lost your engine, you're like, shit, I lost my, my engine's okay. lost, blah, blah, blah. Trim, yeah, trim it back, because that's what's going to... clock, two miles. All right, then you, where am I going to land, right? Boom, right here, that should be like 30 seconds or so. Okay. All right, and then, run through the checklist. So you start off right here. Turn to the west, Primer, uh, in and locked. Yep. Uh, um, Victor Eccles doing a simulated engine failure.